Well, hello everybody. Welcome to another video. This is your host, Fully Armed on the Beast Swarm Simulator Macro World. Today we're going to be talking about something that um, it was requested by a friend of mine called Bumble. Uh, so shout out to you. Um, this is how to, how to do if statements. All right, everybody wants to understand, and I just want to break it down. Uh, what if if statements, else, and if. Those are the three things that we're going to be uh, going over today. Okay, so don't worry about Wendy. I'm not here for Wendy. Oops, I'm getting stuck over here. Um, but I did want to go ahead and review that stuff with you. So let me get the macro, which should have been here already. I'm not sure. Let me open it again. Oh, there it is. I have to stop this one. Okay. So this one, I want to go over this one because this one is a little bit more complicated. So as I said in another one, an if statement, right? So let's understand an if statement. An if statement is a conditional statement. It's saying if this, right? If I come over here, jump on this pad, bam. Uh, if I press E, I collect like you saw me just collect. If I don't, else I don't collect. I don't get the prize. Um, Right, right now the E doesn't show, it doesn't show up. So if I came over here and I had a statement, it says if E uh, collect, else if there's no E, then continue, you know, continue on with your life. Come back, check it later, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I use an analogy on the other one. You know, if you're hungry, you know, if you go to the fridge, you find food, you go ahead and, and make yourself some food. Else, what do you do? If you don't open the fridge. Well, you probably go to the store or you um, get hungry, right? And then you're going to make uh, maybe make that decision later on. So, all right, let's bring that macro back in here. So let's see what's happening. So here um, is my, I call it lost connection macro. Uh, or some people call it the reconnection macro. And I put it lost connection because uh, it lost something. It lost reading the word honey. Okay, so here I have an if statement. If it reads the word honey, this is very simple. If it reads the word honey that I captured, uh, just go over real quick, capture this section here. Uh, coefficient because the background of honey changes a lot. And I did that specific region right around the word honey. Okay, um, so I'll test it. Okay, it reads true. Um, and trust me, I've had this macro run three to four days straight so the pretty good collection um, so if this image does that uh, I always have comments then it ends the macro it comes all the way down here here's the label which I don't know why the label is there but anyway here's the label and it ends the macro say bye bye good day um, if it doesn't see the word honey then it goes to else right uh, it say hey I can't find this what else are we going to do well we're going to rejoin because this is what we're created the macro to do okay so if else and you're gonna see all the way at the bottom and if okay so just to go over real quick um, else what is it gonna do is going to uh, open the URL right and it's going to reconnect me if it doesn't reconnect and it fails right we have images it says hey look for this leave um if you see if uh, the leave is there uh, go to try to rejoin again open the web link again um you know if it sees that rejoin again and i think i have two of those for some reason well i think well yeah, because this one has the left arrow and the... Right. So, yeah, there's some differences. It's just been a while since I actually really dug down into it. Okay. So, we're good at that. Um, da, da, da. Now, what does this one does? If it sees loading, right? Because, you know, sometimes uh, getting into a private server and you're the only one there, it might take a while to load or your computer slow or the internet slow, whatever happens. If it sees this word loading... 
it's going to delay me and add you know five seconds you know to the to the macro um cool um and that's what that's doing okay then I end that one um and then it starts doing doing what the macro is supposed to do here's another one if i see this now this is a legendary b on my hype slot okay if it sees this legendary b it will end the macro if it does not see that legendary b right it checks uh else if image is honey and make sure that it sees the word honey right then it restarts the macro okay escape r enter just like you were doing in the game and then it will move to hive slot too so uh you know you could have everything closed okay over here i like to use that control p you know control p it should open up you should use the private server Now, sometimes this is, you see, there's that loading screen that sometimes, right now, as you see, the internet and the computer is running really good, so that was really quick. And so now we're just going to have to wait till we see him move forward. Okay. Um, and then I got to go collect my quest, guys. <laughs> um, something really funny, my, my little bear that runs around me, it's called Your Dad. And then um, some of the people that I've been playing with, for a while, that they they start calling me dad. Like I start having like like if I have kids inside B Swarm Simulator, it's funny. Um, I did want to give a shout out while we're waiting for him to move forward um, to the director, which is actually in the game with me, but she's AFK. She's sleeping. Um, it's actually one thirty in the morning when I'm doing this. Uh, to to add on to Epi uh, for the help, I also want to give a shout out to the boss man. Mr. E and to all the folks that um, play around with me, you know, Excel, uh, Epic Family, uh, Mom, you know, uh, BK, Bear, all you guys. You know, just a shout out to the whole team. Um, and if I miss you, don't be upset. It is 1.30 in the morning. My brain is not working. Now, you see something that, um, well, I stopped it, but no, I didn't. You see how the numbers are going up? It says, hey, it ran the macro 127 times because once it saw that legendary B, if it saw this legendary B right here, that blue, then you know what it did? It uh, it says, hey, you have your high slot. And then what it happened? It just ran it a whole bunch of times. And I gave it a second. Why um, did it run it a whole bunch of times? Because in our right in our macro, we have it where it's really quick in the beginning. All right. 50 millisecond delay. If you see the if you see the word honey and the macro. So imagine that in that little time, it happened 127 times. So it's a very fast going thing. And I just wanted to go over that uh, real quick, right? Go to, if you want to build these type of macros, okay? Go to if, uh, go to insert, go to if your conditional statement and you could pick what statement you want. Now, if you want to do like the bag check, I go into a little bit more detail and I build a bag check um, using image found statement, um, which is in my other video, but you could come over here. You could pick what you want to do. Usually, uh, the main things that are used here, if pixel color equal statement and if image found statement. Okay. Make sure that if you started, if it usually goes, if, and then end it. Okay. So at the end of their statement, whatever you're going to do inside that, uh, if statement, hey, if I see the word honey, I'm going to do this, this, and that, right? Um, and then you're going to end the statement. Or you're going to see that if do this, this, and that, else, if you do not see the word honey, 
I want you, then I'm going to put an else statement, and then I'm going to do this, 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 and that, okay? And you see that in, uh, and then after you do that, you're going to go, at the end, you're going to put an end statement, okay? You see that here in this macro. If it does this image, it ends it, right? Uh, it goes to the actual label called end. Else, it does all this stuff, and at the end, I have my end if statement and pretty much you open almost anybody's macro um, this is how they do it so that is how that if else and if statements work so I hope you enjoy this video please um, if you like it subscribe share you know share it to your friends I know a lot of people are learning how to do macros and trying to figure out a lot of things so I hope this was uh, a good video for you and I hope that it did help you and in the meantime let's do something that enjoy just a little game time over here in my level 20 bear trust me I can't kill him right now I'm gonna get a team want him dead maybe I'll record that too see if I could get uh, I don't know what's going on with bee swarm sooner or later uh, lately, if it's all the bubbles and stuff, but usually um, three players, everything runs great. When you're a high level hive, four things uh, at times start getting iffy. So, anyway, that's a 20 level 20 bear if you haven't seen one yet. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.